Tipu's tiger was made for Tipu Sultan, who was the ruler of Mysore in South India, and he was defeated by the British in 1799. And they found immediately after the, the siege, when they stormed his city and his palace, concealed in the music room in the palace was this tiger, which they discovered has an organ concealed inside the body. So it didn't come directly to this museum. It went first of all to the Indian Museum in the city of London and it was exhibited next to the library and it was um, put in a place where the public could go in and see it and they were also allowed to play it. They could open the concealed flap, um, reveal the keyboard and play popular tunes, very patriotic tunes like Rule Britannia and God Save the King. It's extremely popular, it's very eccentric. I think it's because of that people remember it. It's the sort of thing that children are brought to see and in these very large halls of the v &A, they see this tiger and it's the sort of thing that they remember forever. It's a nearly life-size object and we see a large tiger crouching on top of a human finger or mauling it. It's carved of wood, it's actually Indian jackwood, it's painted. And you can see that this human figure is a European figure because it has this black hat and has a red coat on and that would be a reference as a British person. And why am I saying that? Well, at the time, British soldiers would also be referred to as red coats and this would be because they had red jackets. That would be. The death of a young Englishman named Munro, carried off by a man-eating tiger in 1792, was the inspiration for some of the strangest artifacts in the collection. <laughs>